Hello everybody, my name is Alex Askroff and I have the Sewing Machine Pioneer series on Amazon and also the On The Road series. And what I'm going to do today is show you this amazing Hashfields fur machine made around 1890 in London and it became, later on it became Albrook and Hashfield as they combined a partnership and it was made further up north. But the very early ones, a fascinating piece of engineering. The fur industry when I was a kid was on a boom. I just saw the end of it really. In the 50s, a fur coat was the sign of absolute opulence. It's what every rich spinster wanted and every trophy wife wanted. And, and by the 60s, it was starting to become just for James Bond movies and everything. And by the 70s, it was really the animal rights campaigners were, were on a roll. And in Eastbourne, we had several fur shops. And extraordinarily, I remember seeing as a kid a fur coat for £3,000. Now, you could buy a house for £3,000, but these were beautiful mink and they would have ermine and just extraordinary. And as the animal rights movement got bigger and bigger and bigger, the, the shop windows got smashed, the one in Grove Road was burnt down and, and all the mink farms across Europe, but not so much in Scandinavia, but certainly across Europe, they, 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 they were breaking the bolts and letting them all go. And like in Arlington, a few miles up the road, they let hundreds of mink go. Well, of course, mink are one of the top predators. So what did they do? They escaped and they just, devastated the countryside so then the mink had to be hunted but it all was down to this very specialized fur machine which is what I want to show you now this I'm just going to take the, the little plastic cap off and show you this works from a fantastic mechanism on the outside there's very little movement on the inside there's a huge amount going on as this arm comes up and lifts and it just strokes the needle there picks the stitch up holds it brings it back down and then it just loops it so it creates what we call a whip stitch and i'm going to show you that in action in a second and it is absolutely amazing and in the factories this would be mounted you could either have it standing up or you could have it sitting down and you'd have two pedals. So the two pedals, one pedal was for power, the other pedal was to move this arm away. So the two wheels here opened up so you could put your big thick fur pieces in. And what you would do is you would start by getting your fur and pushing all the pile down and you would get your two bits of fur and then you would start to feed it in here and then as you the secret with these machines is you had to get it just right 99 percent of all the failures on these hat machines with poor stitching was how you handled this work and as it fed through the machine so you can see how this catches the top of the, of the edge of the fabric and if you lift the fabric too high it will uh, mess up the stitch so you have operator control was everything and i'm not very good at this i'm making a right mess but you get the idea you can actually see the basic principle and what it was doing was it, it was creating this whipped stitch over the raw edge and i thought you'd quite like to see that it's quite an amazing piece of machinery uh, nothing like anything that you've seen before with these two wheels turning and of course because they, they sort of crush the work as they went through you could take quite thick work and it would just go through beautifully and I hope you enjoyed that bye for now